Hello, my name is Jacob Wittenberg, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will show you how to use Trimble's data transfer utility to transfer files to and from a Windows Mobile handheld. We'll first need to connect your device to your PC using the correct Windows Mobile connectivity software, Windows Mobile Device Center, or Microsoft ActiveSync. If you don't already have the software installed, you can download the program right from fpimapping.com. We have the downloads available right underneath Product Support and Download right here. I already have this software installed. So all I need to do is connect my USB cable from my PC to my device. It may take a few seconds for it to establish this connection. Always remember to connect to your device without setting up a partnership. So with Microsoft ActiveSync I would want to hit cancel. With Windows Mobile Device Center I'm going to click connect without setting up my device. Now that I have a connection status, I can minimize this window. Data transfer utility can be opened as a standalone utility from your start menu or from within Trimble GPS Pathfinder Office software. You can click on the shortcut key to the left or go to Utilities and Data Transfer. Once open, you'll need to select what you want to connect to. In this example, I'm connecting to a Trimble 6000 Series Geo. So I'm going to choose GIS Data Logger on Windows Mobile. The software should automatically recognize your connection to the device. If not, you can connect and disconnect here. Over here you can view the connection status. Then you will need to select if you are sending data to the device or receiving data from the device. In this example, I'm going to receive the data file from my handheld. I've ensured I have the Receive tab checked to receive data from my handheld to transfer it to my PC. If I click on the Add button, I can choose Data File. This will bring up a list of all files on my handheld that I can transfer. Please note that the highlighted files indicate that they have not been transferred to your PC. Select the files that you want to transfer. Please note that it's going to send the files to whatever project folder you have open in Pathfinder Office. You can switch this if you click the Browse button and you can choose a new location. For now, I'm going to send it to my default project folder. If I click open, it's going to add these files to the queue. As a reminder, I can select multiple files and send them to different destinations, all in the same transfer. So I have the three files that I'd like to transfer. If I click transfer all, it's going to convert the raw data file SSF file on my computer. This may take a few minutes. My transfer is complete. I can view a log file by clicking on more details. For now, click on close. If I open the folder that I sent the data to, I can now see that all the files are stored as an SSF. 
I can also send files to the handheld. If I click on send and go to add, I can send data files and imported files. I can also send data dictionary files, waypoint files, and also background files, and a few other options as well. Essentially it works the same way. If I click on data file, I can send this data file back to the handheld. Now the data file is back on my handheld. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk on transferring data to and from a Windows Mobile handheld using Trimble's data transfer utility. Hopefully you found this video beneficial and will join us next time. Thank you.